Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you guys the basics of uh, creating and using a Python script in the Blender game engine. I'm also going to, um, whoa. <laughs> I'm also going to show you guys uh, the basics of the text editor, some convenient things you might want to know. Uh, so we're going to prepare our file now, switch this to Blender game engine, to the Blender game, so we have the game options. And here we're going to switch to the game logic view, which is just a convenient setup for uh, game logic. I like this to be in perspective, although we won't need the 3D view much. So we'll create a basic script. Blender has built-in templates for certain things that people commonly do in the text editor. Uh, what we're interested in right now is game logic basic. You notice there's game logic module that's a bit more advanced. We're going to stick to game logic basic. There's also game logic, but we're not interested in that. And there are three options that I'd like to tell you about. So this is a basic template script, which you can use to create uh, games, uh, to script your game. Uh, here we have three options that I, I have two enabled. Uh, the first one enables lines, so you can see script lines. And this is important in the console because it might say, when, when you have a, a certain error in your script, it's going to say on line whatever. Uh, so you'll need to have lines enabled if you want it to be, unless you want to count each line individually to, uh, but yeah, I think it's just more convenient to have that enabled. Uh, the second option is in case you have very long lines, it's going to, if you squish this down, it's going to sort of uh, bring it to the next line so you see all the script. There's no part that's hidden somewhere there just because you don't have enough, uh, uh, your screen can't fit all that text so it's gonna squeeze it down I personally don't like this option very much uh, I'd rather uh, hit control and use my mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out uh, so that's a useful thing uh, but I personally don't don't like this option you could use it if you want the third option is color coding and it's pretty useful to have uh, it color codes uh, as you can see uh, the defining statement of a function some important uh, other important things in your script it also uh, color codes comments. If I disable this, you wouldn't know if this is a comment unless you notice this over here. So uh, I'm going to keep that on. So now to explain this basic script, very basic script, uh, import BGE. This imports the Blender module, the Blender game engine module. So it allows you to use the functions and commands that you'd want to use uh, to interact with the game engine to tell it what to do. Uh, then there's def main. This defines the main function. This is the main function of your script, and this is the end of it. And basically, this function is going to run as many times as you specify here in the logic, uh, the logic section. I'm going to show you that soon. So uh, yeah, we have the defining sta statements of our function. We have the def main, and then we have the closing main. Then here we have cont equals bge logic get current controller. This is something. This is sort of a built-in Blender. Uh, uh, sort of a blender uh, built-in blender function uh, and this gets the current controller now when you run the script you have to use some logic bricks not a whole lot but some and you'd have to use a python controller so this line gets the controller and then own cont owner gets the owner of the controller so if we apply it on this cube then uh, the controller would be python controller on cube and the own would be the cube because it owns this controller. I hope you guys understand that. Uh, so this is basically to get the object that's controlling the script, these two lines. This gets the uh, controller itself, this thing. And this gets the owner of the controller, which would be in this case the cube. Now what I like to do, if this is for example a player object, I would call, I would change this to player. These are variables. You can see this is the variable name and this is what the variable is. Uh, the equal sign just tells it that player is the owner of this controller. So this is a regular variable just like you would have for example uh, health equals 100 for example. Uh, this is a regular variable. Uh, so these are variables as well and you can use variables to shorten your scripts. There are some, for example, uh, instead of, uh, in this case this line here uses the cont variable so the when the script is running the engine is going to say okay what is cont cont is bge logic get current controller you could basically you could uh, sorry about that you could take this line off delete this whole line uh so delete that variable and instead of cont put this 
Whoops. Hold up. Okay. So delete this line. Don't you don't have to do this. I'm just trying to demonstrate something. So if we delete that line and put this instead, it would still work. Uh, I I'm pretty sure. But the difference is uh, that makes it shorter. Instead of putting all of this here, all you have to do is uh, just have this line. Whenever you need to call the owner, just hit cont and whatever, right? So you don't have to put all of this. This is also useful when you have keys uh, when you're detecting input in the game engine using Python. It it's a bit of a long line. Uh, BGE dot logic dot KX input active whatever it's a very long line so using for example a variable called W key equals BGE and whatever like the rest of the stuff uh, it would make it a lot more convenient so just no variable it's basics of uh, scripting it's in every programming language variables you should know that so now that these two lines are clear these things are not very important you don't need to worry about them uh, this is sort of the important part of your script. And as I said, you can call this whatever you want. Now keep in mind, you can't name a variable with a capital. I can't call this player, just like that. No. Uh, variables have to start with uh, lowercase uh, letters. You can have capitals later on. For example, let's say player object. Uh, that works if we have an O here somewhere, a capital O. Uh, but we can't have a capitalized uh, first letter. The other thing is you can't have spaces. Uh, what people tend to do is use uh, an underscore uh, instead of a space. So that's another thing you want to know. Uh, yeah, that's that's basically uh, what you need to know about the script right now, this basic script. Uh, some useful things you might want to know is comments. Comments are pretty useful, uh, especially when you have long scripts. You basically use this symbol here and type in whatever you want. And when you run this in the game engine, it's going to totally ignore this line. It's going to run everything, it's going to import BGE, it's going to define the main function, and it's going to look at this, it's going to skip it, it's not even going to care what it says, because these are comments you put for yourself or for other people if you want, for example, let's say you're working with a team, you want to explain your script, you want it to be easy to understand. So when you, another programmer starts to work on the script and you want to work on something else, for example, uh, they can see the comments and understand what each thing does instead of having to read the whole script and understand everything on their own. Uh, it's also pretty useful if you're getting back to a script after a while. You're not 100% sure what where everything is. Uh, so it's useful to have that to sort of remind you what each thing does. Uh, so we can have, for example, here a comment above def main. Define the main function. And when I run the script, it's not going to care what this says. It's just for reference. Uh, so that's one thing that's important. Uh, the other thing is when you're working with scripts, you might have to... Uh, set condition. So let's say I have an if statement. If something. Just as an example. And I want this stuff to be under it. Python cares about indents. And I'm using tab to do this. It cares about indents. So uh, if I have an indent here, then it's going to understand, okay, if this, if something is true, if whatever this condition is, is true, then this is going to happen. If this is not true, then it's going to ignore this because this is a child of this line. Uh, so it does worry about indents, and that's something to, wor uh, to worry about. It also worries about uh, capitalization. So let's say you have a long script and you set a condition and you want to indent everything. Instead of going to every line, especially when you have a lot of lines, instead of going to every line and hitting tab, tab, that's pretty annoying. Uh, a convenient way to do this is using the menus down here, Format. Uh, select the lines you want to indent, format, indent, and it's going to indent it for you. Let's say you decided, okay, I don't need this condition anymore, or I don't want it. Uh, one thing that's useful is instead of deleting the line and then realizing, oh, I shouldn't have done that, what you could do is you can comment out the line. Uh, you can put one if you want. And this is going to just ignore, make it, uh, make the Blender game engine ignore it. Now, you obviously have to unindent, so we can go to format and unindent, uh, format, unindent and it's gonna work if you have a bunch of lines that are commented and you want to uncomment them format uncomment so that's pretty useful to know as well sorry about that uncomment I'm not sure why it's not working there but it usually does uh, I assure you of that so uh, that's another thing that's useful to know uh, that's a basic script so now if we want to run our script what we can do is hit uh, is uh, create an always sensor and you want to uh, 
activate true level triggering and you want this to be at frequency zero that means it's gonna run every frame now you usually do this for the main character or objects that need to run the script every single frame for them to work properly static meshes not necessarily but for players uh, it has to be as responsive as possible so as many frames as possible uh, the script should be running so you obviously want to connect that you have a Python controller here and you select your script so we have game logic basic dot py that's our script so now this is gonna run the script every single frame now obviously our script doesn't do anything other than get the controller and the player but at least now it works since the controller is connected uh, once we get into actual object manipulation then you're gonna see things uh, happening and you're gonna see how the script is running uh, let's see I have a list here of things I wanted to cover um, I think that's yeah that's pretty much it so uh, that's the basics of the text editor and the basic template game logic basic template that's the basics of also of the lines that you see here just so you sort of understand what each thing does so you know what to delete and what you don't need what you want to change uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching and see you guys next time